Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here at Baxter Cycle in Marnie, Iowa. Check out what they got here today. We're just kind of going to do a little walk around of the uh, back room here. Matchless, I don't know anything about this. I'm going to guess it's a 500. It looks that large. Just a beautiful little motorcycle. No tag on it. I'm guessing choke. Possibly the uh, timing. I like the paint. Big old single cylinder. Brake on the left side here. Look at the adjuster on this side. Jumping over here. This is a it says 74 Triumph Trophy Trail. And make it a 500. You can tell it's a 500 by the uh, distance between here, the lack of a nose on the engine, the less pronounced fins right there. Um, no fins on that. Look at that gas tank. Isn't that cool? Jumping around here. Look at this BSA. Hey, I like that. What does it say? Spitfire Special. Mark III, gorgeous motorcycle, gorgeous motorcycle. Of course, Triumphs, Royal Enfields right there, a pair of them. I think I rode one of those. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's walk back here once. So this one came in. I don't know a thing about this one. It's a Trident. I've got to learn more. The mechanics are off the lunch right now, so I don't really know. But look at all this. Wow, look at that sprocket. Good grief, that is large. What is that? Like a, I don't know what that would be. License plate says 71. Kickstart. I don't see any electric starter on it. So check out those carburetors. Aren't those cool? Wow. I love it. I love it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at how the uh, foot peg goes, you know, the little from the frame down to there. Gorgeous. Hey, what's this say? Gary. Nixon? Nixon? Number nine? That means something to one of you all out there. Please comment below because I need to know. Educate me, my friends. I love the way that looks. Beautiful looking engine, isn't it? Beautiful looking engine. Absolutely gorgeous. We did a video on this bike once. That, 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 that was really neat. I'd like to ride that one, actually. Maybe I can get them to let me do that. We rode this one one day. Gorgeous. Another one of these autographed motorcycles. Looks like it might be sold. Joel Smith, is that right? Number 21. Jumping over here. I don't know if I've seen... Oh, I think this is my good friend Everett's bike. I rode this one. That is a real good one. That's an excellent one, actually. Everett's that guy that buys the old motorcycles, tears them into little pieces, puts them back together, and they run. Buys good running motorcycles, makes them into great running motorcycles. Check out this big single right here. That's another beauty. I like that a lot. Indian. Royal Enfield Indian. That's that 250. They only made about 40 of them. And a whole slew of Triumph here. And a whole slew of Nortons here. I really would like to ride this blue one right here. It's got that speed tail or boat tail. Or I think it's called a speed tail. Check that out. Isn't that something? If it isn't a red motorcycle, it's a blue motorcycle I like. <laughs> Just a gorgeous thing. Let's see what it says here. 1968 Norton Fastback 750, 18.5, zoom, amazing. Let's jump back here right quick, see what we can find in the shop area. Ooh, look at that. That's a shiny one, isn't it? New paint, all the bits and pieces are shiny. So it's a Norton, has a little bit of a camp forward, so I'm going to guess it's a 750, maybe an 850. Uh, I don't know how to tell the difference. Think. The 750s had visible bolts here, so this might be an 850. Again, if anybody knows out there, please post. Here's the oil line, runs up to the heads, feeds these external oil lines. Here's the coils. Boy, this is a real piece of art, isn't it? I'm guessing that's a tack drive. I'm guessing. Let's trace that. It is a tack. Nifty old uh, disc brake. That was. Look how thick that is. Modern in its day, right? Points cover. Look at this. Spot for the starter, but no starter yet. So I think 75 is when they started putting starters on this. So this is probably a 74. Check out that transmission. Kick start. Oh, the transmission and engines are still separate. Big old cast piece right here. Look at how that foot peg is attached. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Love those pipes. Look at that view. Isn't that just, wow. 
sparkling. So mechanical brake, drum, but look at this, it's, it goes to a cable right to this thing right here. So it's still a shoe brake in the, uh, in the, you know, hub. Check it out. <laughs> Interesting. Again, big aluminum pleat piece right there. Chetted forward. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's ignition. Big old air cleaner. Again, the oil lines. What a piece of art. What a piece of art. Hey, y'all out there know anything about this? Um, post. I would love to hear about it. That's your homework. Teach me something. Like I said, the mechanics are gone, so I can't uh, I can't bug them about it. Just a real shiner, isn't it? Look at that. Just look at that. Look at these. Isn't that cool? I like that. I like that a lot. What do we have here? <clears throat> Norton 61 ES2 or E52 maybe? I don't know. 500 cc. They were doing some work to this, so it's not ready to ride, because I actually tried to get myself on this the other day, and uh, could not get on it because I said it wasn't ready. It's a big old single cylinder. Cabins are down here. Distributor or magneto here. Push rods right here. Little rectifier there. Check it out. It's a big single carburetor right there. Oil tank. Check out that swing arm. Of course, coming back here. I like it. That looks like tin. That's, I don't think that's cast. Maybe I'm wrong. It's squeezed on with that bolt. Notice there's no nuts and bolts or screws or anything all around the edges. It's all center mounted and squeezed on. What a deal. Toolkit, maybe? I like it. I like it a lot. Smith's gauge. There's a guy down the road that works on these. I'll put his uh Look at that. Isn't that cool? I'll put his website above the Smith gauge guys. He's got machinery. He can make new faces, do all the guts, recrimp the cases. Look at that. Isn't that cool? What is this again? Norton ES2 or E52. You guys tell me what that is. I like that. I like that a lot. Jumping up here. Oh, an old commando. 750 it says. <laughs> the seat even says Norton on it. My gosh, what a beauty, what a beauty. Yeah, see, this is 750, and you can see the bolts down here. I think the 850s, you can't see the bolts down here. Again, the tack drive, disc brake on this one. I like it a lot. Pencil mufflers, at least that's what I call them. Wow. Beauty, beauty. Here again, no bolts on the edge. Put on, held on with the center bolt, squeezes it on. Beautiful, beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, end of the video here. Uh, you guys tell me which bike of all the ones I just showed you, you like the best. Put it in the comments below. Maybe we can do a video of that bike next week. So, which bike you like the best? Put it in the comments below. Maybe we'll try to get a video of that done next week. Life is good. Wahoo!